We're 10 days out from the start of the NFL football season. Chargers, they got Jim Harbaugh. They got Justin Herbert. Do they have anybody else, John Cantera? Uh, it'll be an interesting year, I think, if you're a Charger fan, because you really don't know what to expect. I mean, and granted, you know, they've got the, the Super Bowl champion in their division, the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, I think Denver's going to be a little bit better. Raiders, I don't expect a whole lot out of them. It's going to be interesting uh, to see how the Chargers are able to put their defense together. Can a guy like Joey Bosa finally stay healthy for an entire year? Uh, can uh, Justin Herbert come back from their uh, plantar fascia and stay healthy? That's a painful, painful injury. And, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of questions there, but they've got a lot of youth. they got a lot of team speed, and we'll see where it goes. But uh, if you're a Charger fan, uh, you know, it's going to be a wild ride, I think, with Jim Harbaugh. Harbaugh will change the culture, is changing the culture. The new general manager is the one that nobody's paid attention to. Joe Hortiz came from a good set of standards that they operated with with a very successful Baltimore Ravens franchise in terms of how to find players, how to grow players, how to change the bottom third of the roster. I like Hortiz. First draft looks pretty good, but the street free agents or role players that they like, they're, he's doing the exact same thing in L.A. that he did with the Baltimore Ravens as the assistant to Ozzie Newsom and then the player personnel director. Well, you if you're following Ozzie Newsom and his blueprint, you're eventually going to have a pretty good football team. This year, don't know. A lot of questions, running game. A lot of inexperience at the wide receiver spot. But one thing you and I both know uh, covering Jim Harbaugh, whether it was a player or a coach, uh, he can be uh, very exhausting. And he can wear out a staff, uh, even the equipment managers in the front office. He can wear them all down because he's a full go uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. There's no days off for Jim Harbaugh. He's unique. It's a passion play with him. It's like a tent revival speech every time he talks to the media. I guess that's okay. I don't know that I'll ever feel any different. I can't forgive Dean Spanos to what he did to this community after 55 years of loyalty. Now, that being said, we had horrid leadership in the mayor's office for a long period of time. But Kevin Faulkner, the city, coupled with the county, coupled with the group that put together a stadium plan to how to finance it. That was right there. And Spanos turned around, never went to the table, negotiated because he wanted to go to L.A. and collect the money. I'll never I can never forgive Spanos for what he did to the community. Then it's personal to me what he did to our radio station and what he did to me. And yet he flourishes up there with this franchise and San Diego's in his rearview mirror. I I know there's there's counseling. There's medication for this. <laughs> I want Justin Herbert to go 17-0 and because I really respect him and I like him. And I want Dean Spanos to go 0-17 on behalf of our community. And the coach says... Uh, well, I think, Lee, you, you said a lot of very good things there. Uh, there were a lot of people, aside from Dean Spanos, that should play a part in, in why they're no longer in San Diego. But ultimately, Dean Spanos is the one that packed them up and moved them to Los Angeles. The thing that I, I will never quite understand, maybe you can help me with this. Remember there was a point in time where they wanted Dean Spanos to throw in $600 million to get the, the project started here. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to put any of his money in, yet he goes to Los Angeles and has to pay a $650 million relocation fee that I don't think he's even started to pay on yet. So it didn't really make a lot of sense to me. And I realize LA is LA. Uh, the market up there, you know, if they ever sold the team, which I don't think he has any plans anytime soon to sell it, would uh, go for more. But I don't know. I just I, I just think at the end of the day, uh, a lot of people to blame, but he ultimately is the one that said, hey, we're going to L.A. and, you know, more power to him. Good luck. And hopefully someday, I don't know if it will be in my lifetime, but I'd sure like to get an NFL team back here. Unfortunately, I don't think it's possible because the land at that site is no longer available at the land at that site because the Aztecs have taken control of the Qualcomm property. The other team crossed.